everybody. What's up? Um, my name is Logan, uh, and today I want to show you probably my favorite recipe, and I call them pan-seared chicken thighs. We basically start the chicken thighs out in a pan, get a nice crispy skin, and then finish them off in the oven. It's super easy, it impresses everyone I've made them for, and I'm so excited to show them to you today. So for our ingredients, we will need several things. First, we have just regular salt. I also will be using kosher salt. Um, it's my favorite type. I'll tell you why we have both a little later. Um, fresh ground black pepper is always great. I also like chili powder and garlic powder on my chicken, but you feel free to use whatever spices you like. Um, and of course, we will also need oil. So one of the things I like to do when I'm making a dish like this with oil on the stovetop um, is to wear an apron. I think it helps me keep my clothes from getting stained and ultimately I think it looks real cute. Not really, um, it doesn't look good, but I think it's good for my clothes. So one step I like to take when I make this dish is to soak my chicken in salt water beforehand. If you can do it overnight, great. If not, just a couple hours before is fine, but it helps to get the, the salty flavor throughout the entire piece of meat. Um, and so just take some salt, add it to a bowl of water. You can take the regular salt, not the kosher salt, um, and taste the water first to make sure it's salty enough before you put the chicken in. Um, and doing this extra step just makes the chicken so much better in the end. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the chicken seasoned. Um, we wanna season the skin side first before we put it in the pan because it will go face down. Um, and so before we do that though, we'll wanna take some paper towels and just pat the chicken dry. If you don't do this, ultimately what's gonna happen is it's gonna steam the skin with all the water there instead of really getting a nice sear. Um, but in terms of seasoning, I'm just adding some salt. Once again, kosher salt is my favorite because I can see exactly how much I'm putting on. I'm also putting on some black pepper, uh, some garlic powder, and some chili powder. But as I said before, whatever spices you like, uh, feel free to add those. It's, it's really up to your taste. All right, so let's get cooking. You'll wanna make sure you oil your pan after it's been preheated. If you don't do that, the oil kind of gets down into the pores of the metal as opposed to staying on top and keeping the meat from sticking. So that's really critical. I really like to use cast iron pans, um, especially as opposed to something like nonstick. Cast iron is gonna give you a really, really nice sear on the meat and it makes it so you can put the pan right in the oven. You don't have to worry about transferring the chicken to anything else, which is great. Um, we'll go ahead and get the meat seasoned on the other side. I'm using the same seasonings as before, just some kosher salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and chili powder. All right, so we're just gonna let the meat go for a few minutes over medium heat. Um, the thing that most people do that I think is a mistake at this point is they try to pull the meat up too early and it's still kind of sticking to the pan. The meat will let you know when it's ready to flip because it will release really, really easily. So don't try to turn it before it's ready. It looks like ours is about ready to flip over, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I love the color of the skin on the other side. It's just starting to brown. It's got nice and crispy, and that's gonna be delicious later. Now that the chicken's been flipped into a 400 degree oven, it goes. It's gonna cook for about 25 minutes in here. We wanna give it enough time to cook all the way through uh, to the point where it's still juicy, but not too dry. After about 25 minutes has passed, we can go ahead and check the chicken to see if it's finished. To me, the easiest way to do that is just to grab a meat thermometer and see if it's reached 165 degrees. As soon as it does, you can go ahead and pull it out and it'll keep the chicken nice and juicy. I love the way it looks right after it comes out of the oven. It's nice and brown. The skin is gonna be crispy and we can go ahead and plate it up. I like to put my chicken on a plate with a paper towel as soon as it comes out, just to soak up some of the extra grease. But after a few minutes, you'll wanna go ahead and take it off just so the chicken doesn't sit in a grease-covered paper towel for too long. Oh my God, it looks amazing. Of course, the best way to know if it turned out okay is to go ahead and give it a taste. Let's see here. Oh, so good. 